All right, EDC. You know I believe in you. You know you you got my trust. But now we gotta take it to a whole nother level if we not gonna let this happen. Right now it ain't looking so good. And I know there's only so much that you can do. Especially if you put an offer on the table and you wanna bring somebody back and they may want some more money and they can get more money elsewhere. But here's where your sales instincts they gotta come into play. Team keep it clean. We want Jadavian Clowney to come back, but in my opinion, I really do not think it's looking good. But we'll see how this thing shakes out because it ain't over till it's over. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and run them likes up. Even though we don't like the situation, we can still leave a like on the video. Now, of course, the situation is Jadavian Clowney. He got signed to the Baltimore Ravens last year, and he had a nice season. Pressure's all over the place, had, what, nine and a half sacks, could have had a lot, but probably could have had like 16, 17 sacks if he would have tackled every quarterback who he got around, and that started from week one. There were a couple of sacks that he missed on C.J. Stroud, and then like every week, like he would be right there, he would even grab the quarterback, touch the quarterback, but he wouldn't give the quarterback a hug, so he wouldn't sack the quarterback a lot of times, but Jadavion Clowney, he was nice. He was nice. So many people doubted the Jadavion Clowney signing. Even before he got signed, when the Ravens first set up the visits with him, people were doubting him. Like, oh, he's a slacker. He's a loser. He ain't gonna never. And Jadavion Clowney said, watch this. Watch this. I was somebody, too, who said watch this. But anyway, and then I told people, I said, hey, we can change him. We can change him. We know we heard all the rumors about Jadavion Clowney in his past, but all he got to do is be in the right situation. And... We're going to see if him having been in the right situation last year, if he wants to be in the right situation again, or if it's more financially motivated. Now, cannot get mad at that at all because people want their bread. They want their money. They want to be paid for their services. And they want to be paid nicely. Like you think about it. Think about it. If you were in a good situation, you, you found this company that you ended up loving Signed a one-year contract with them, and that year went great. You didn't achieve everything you were supposed to achieve, but you did your part. Uh, and your side of the company, they certainly did their part, even when it mattered the most. Y'all did a phenomenal job. Uh, but then you have an opportunity to do the exact same thing. Will you reach the same level of success? It, it's possible. It is very much possible. Um, but you just don't know. But in this new company that you could potentially work for, you could make a lot more money. Nine times out of ten, all of y'all are taking it. All of us are taking it because that's more bread. But anyway, let, let's get into this report uh, that came from Jordan Schultz because we've been hearing about Jadavian Clowney. We've been talking about Jadavian Clowney on his world tour right now. Uh, I ain't mad at it getting your free meals, getting a free hotel stay, getting his little travel, his little off-season traveling, and he, it's business. So he can write it off for his business. I mean, a lot of stuff he probably ain't even paying for, but still, it's business. But anyway, um, Jordan Schultz said him, uh, the Jets have been searching for a pass rusher, especially with Bryce Huff leaving for Philly. Bryce Huff, that, that would have been a nice one, too. But anyway, uh, it says they were in on Shaq Barrett until the very end. Shaq Barrett signed with the Miami Dolphins. And I saw a stat about Shaq Barrett that said if, if he wins a Super Bowl with the Dolphins, then he would have won a Super Bowl in three different decades because he won one with the Broncos and he won another one with the Bucks and then he will win another one with the Dolphins. But I don't think we gotta worry about that stat ended up end up having for him. Anyway, um the they the Jets were in on Shaq Barrett until the very end. And they liked Jadavian Clowney a lot. There's competition though. Who's that competition? Let's see. It says following Jadavian Clowney's visit with the Jets, he and the organization have remained in constant contact. With one source describing New York as highly motivated to try and secure a deal with Clowney. I'm told both the Panthers and the Ravens remain interested in him as well after his nine and a half sack season in Baltimore. So the Jets, they trying to get it done. They have all the motivation in the world to get it done. And but Jadavian Clowney is not, I mean, excuse me, the Jets are not the only team that's interested in a Jadavian Clowney because the Panthers and the Ravens, uh, they are interested in him as well. Now, for the Ravens, um, this is not good for them because th this is great for Jadavian Clowney. This is amazing for him. For the Ravens, it sucks, though. Reason being because you got the Jets and you got the Panthers. Both of those teams 
have a lot more money than you do. So the price that they would be willing to pay a Jadavian Clowney could be a lot more money than you would be willing to. So that's something, that, and that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest factor. The biggest factor is money. That is the biggest factor. And all the whole, the, the, the situation, the team, how good the team could be, how good the teams usually are, that don't mean nothing. It's about money. To fans, it means everything. But to the players, that doesn't mean anything. Well, to some it does, but, and you can't fault the ones who it does mean something to, but to a lot of them, it does, they trying to get paid. They trying to get paid. And I know it's going to be fans. Is, oh, man. Just money hungry Just trying to go to the team That's going to pay the most money Yeah It's a job You're supposed to try to get the most money it, That's life But anyway um, That's that that Not the best situation For the Baltimore Ravens And another thing too Why this uh, Is great for Jadavian Clowney Is because With All three of those teams Interested That just drives up his price Because You could Say for just thought, not saying that this was the number that was offered, but just saying that, say for instance, the Jets offer him two years, uh, 10 mil. So five mil per. Two years, 10 mil. Hey, there you go, Jadavion Clowney. We, we, we want you to come aboard the Jets. We want you to be part of our squad. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. Ray, uh, Ravens and Panthers, they're interested too. So he could use the other team's interests and, and pit them against each other. And I'm sure that this report, that Jordan Schultz got I'm I'm sure it's coming from Jadavian Clowney's agent too Like he's telling Jordan Schultz Like hey These Jets They trying to get it done But the Panthers and the Ravens They want them too So what that does Is make his client Look even better And more appealing Because it happens So many times in the NFL We've seen it so many times To where Somebody will be a free agent Nobody will be biting Nobody will be saying nothing There will be no interest They ain't got no visits No nothing They take one visit then another team is like, oh that, oh, oh, that person's available? Then the other team is interested. Then another team is interested. Then another team is interested. We see it all the time. Not saying that that happened with Jadavian Clowney because he had interest from jump as soon as he became a free agent, even before he became a free agent. But it happens. So with Jadavian Clowney, him having already had interest from jump, this just helps his interest. It just helps other teams garner even more interest in him because he's being sought after by multiple teams. So they could take it to multiple teams and the multiple teams could see that the prices and they could be like, oh, you know what? We want Jadavion Clowney too. We'll give him even more. That two-year 10 mil, we'll give him two-year 11 mil. Then he could take it to another team. Uh, you know what? We'll give him two years 12 mil. So that just, it, it raises his price. So the more that his price is raising, the more that um, teams are interested in him, the worse for the Baltimore Ravens. Not to say that they don't have a chance now. Because, again, this was what I was talking about from the beginning of the video. This is where Eric DaCosta got to turn into the ultimate salesperson. Because if you are going to land Jadavion Clown, if he's going to come back to the Baltimore Ravens, he is going to need a couple of things. He's going to need, obviously, a significant amount of money. A significant amount of money for sure. But you are going to, in order to really land, you're going to have to tie some heavy incentives in there. And some likely to be earned incentives, in my opinion. Not, the, not likely to be earned incentives like a lot of teams add to these deals, but... Likely to be earned incentives And the reason I say that is because Jadavion Klein, like his, his base pay Is going to have to be significant But then um, incentives To really bring it up A good amount I think that would really have to be the, the motivating factor But at the same time that's tough Because Panthers and Jets I'm sure they'll be able to match or Not only match any base pay that Ravens could do But give them an even higher base pay so regardless of if he hit those incentives or not, then he's going to have a nice base pay. But Eric DeCosta, he, he, he got to sell him on like, look, we're close. We're so close. Hey, you want to go to the Panthers and you start from scratch? What are they doing over there? They, yeah, they could pay you all the money that you want, but what, what about your legacy? That's, that's what Eric DeCosta is going to have to say, man. He, he could have to sell him on that, man. And David Clanning going to say, I ain't worried about no legacy. I'm just I'm just joking up there. But Eric DeCosta, if if he did say that, like Eric DeCosta, like you really gotta turn into a salesperson. And then he, if he talk about the Jets, he'd be like, Well, man, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers or Lamar Jackson. You you tell me, Jadavian Clowney. You seen it for yourself. You you know on both ends from playing with Lamar Jackson and playing against Lamar, which one you going with? And like look, we, we just we just a few little moves away from being right back where we was at last year. 
We just gotta We need you to help us Get over the hump You helped us a lot last year Come through again big dog So And today we could be like Nope I'm going to the Jets But We'll see man We'll see It, it is a um A scary situation to think about Because then you think about The flip side too what are the and who are the backup options? Because your David Clowney is excellent on the edge, but what are your backup options as far as pass rushes, outside linebackers, the ends, whatever you want to call them? Uh, Dafe away, David Ajabo. Uh, I'm not sure what the free agent market is looking like, but you think about the people that are on the team already, and yeah, um, so uh, Dafe away. He he's not a bad player. We're just waiting for him to turn the corner, waiting for him to take that next step. And with David Ajabo, we're just waiting on him to stay healthy. That's the only thing with him, because we just so much that we don't know about him because he hasn't been healthy. So this um this is a very uh tricky situation for the Ravens, and it does seem like they may be waiting on Jadavian Clowney because they haven't made any moves on the edge. I mean Malik Harrison, he could play edge too but um so i guess that's that but he was there last year so but they haven't made any like significant moves as far as edge defenders um so yeah i i, I do believe they are waiting on jadavian Clowney. I, I do really think that they want him back um and now they just gotta really wait it out now one thing that does help the baltimore ravens is jadavian Clowney's timing because Jadavion Clowney does not like training camp. He does not like playing, participating in training camp. Does not like, usually I like even signing before training camp. So that could help. Because not to say that they would even wait on him like that. Um, it is possible that they could, but and I think they will make other moves though, uh, even at edge. Uh, but he, uh, if if he waited until after training camp or toward the end of training camp to sign. Then yeah, oof, that that is a long time though, man. That's a long time. Would he really wait that? He could. It's just David Clowney, man. So he'd be doing his own thing. But um, if he waited until training camp to sign, then that could make the Jets look in another direction. That could possibly turn them off. That could make the Panthers look in another direction and possibly turn them off. <laughs> but at the same time, that could, that could make the Ravens uh look in another direction and possibly turn them off too. 